The numbers are staggering. Last month alone, Tucson Sector Border Patrol agents apprehended nearly 3,300 families who had illegally crossed the border into Arizona. And many of those families, including children, are now awaiting immigration hearings, leaving federal authorities and local volunteers scrambling to keep up. We have the latest now in a News 4 Tucson investigators report. In Guatemala, is in Guatemala, there's a crisis. We have no resources. There are no jobs. We can't find jobs. Nothing. For undocumented immigrants who cross the border from Mexico and beyond, the promise of a new and better life here in the United States often means leaving their family behind. The truth is that we're living in poverty. That's why we decided to come here. This undocumented immigrant from Guatemala is too fearful to show his face or use his real name. But he tells the News 4 Tucson investigators the decision to make the 11 day journey by train known as La Bestia or known as the Beast was his last resort. There are a lot of killings. Sometimes they try to incriminate us in certain criminal activities. They also try to force us into the local gangs, risking death. Many of them have been the victim of gang violence or extortions. There's been kidnappings, assaults. Um, threats and acts of violence against their homes or their businesses. Teresa Cavendish with the Catholic Community Services tells the News 4 Tucson investigators since last fall, her organization has seen a steady increase in the number of families seeking shelter, and it isn't just adults. Yes, we're certainly seeing more children, and we're seeing them in all age ranges from infants all the way up to age 17. In fact, while the News 4 Tucson investigators were at the former Benedictine Monastery in central Tucson, now serving as a shelter, three immigration and customs enforcement vans dropped off more migrants of all ages, including one little girl who relied on a walker to get inside the shelter. That says that they know what's going to happen if they remain in their home and that it's far worse than anything they could experience on the journey. And so they've made this journey based on faith and hope that something will improve here. What's more, the News 4 Tucson investigators have learned an agreement between the state and Southwest Key has meant that organization has not been able to take in more unaccompanied minors. Regardless of age, the migrants who are coming out of detention and into this shelter share more in common than just a language. They're exhausted. They've been traveling away from their homes for weeks on end. They haven't been able to feed their family consistently in their home countries. That They can go days without being able to, to serve a meal to their families. For this migrant, taking care of family is what matters most. He tells the News 4 Tucson investigators he's thankful for the shelter and its volunteers. But he also understands not everyone in the U.S. welcomes his presence. They say we are criminals, but that's not true. We come here out of necessity to work, to take care of our families in Guatemala, so our families can eat. Because honestly, that's what we want. We didn't come here to do bad things. For a complete breakdown of the latest numbers from Customs and Border Protection, head to kvoa.com. And if you have something that you would like the News 4 Tucson investigators to investigate, email us at investigators at kvoa.com or call the News 4 Tucson investigators tip line at 955-4444.